Fest. Sorry. Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. The new TV series coming your way from Apple is called Home Before Dark. And the people who are behind the scenes responsible making sure it happens for you every week, director John Chu and Dana Fox. Talk a little bit about the the burden in a strange way you're placing on the shoulders of a young girl to carry the show was there any trepidation or concerns it's funny you should say that because that was actually the initial difficult thing getting the show going because I think the world really underestimates little girls, and I was a little girl who took myself incredibly seriously. I wanted a Filofax when I was eight years old. My parents were like, you don't have any appointments um, because you're eight. Um, but you know, the world doesn't take them seriously, and so we had sort of an uphill battle when talking about even wanting to do this. And everybody kept saying, but so it's a little kid show, right? Because it's about a little girl. And we kept saying, no, it's, an, it's, a, it's a sophisticated show for the entire family to watch, a global, just for anybody in any country, all over the place. And they kept saying, but it stars a little girl. And I kept saying, well, yeah, but why do those have to be mutually exclusive? And so that was honestly the most difficult thing was kind of showing people don't underestimate little girls. Um, they're incredible. And being one, you know, is kind of like being a superhero. So I had never seen anything where the little girl protagonist at the center of something didn't have ESP or lasers shooting out of her eyes or something. And this little girl is a superhero just because she works hard and she never gives up. So but it's, it's fascinating, too, because going back, I remember my childhood seeing movies like The Goonies or Gremlins and, you know, up until now, Stranger Things, where we're empowering younger kids and they're the ones that have to resolve the issues. Oh, it's God, the yes. adults who are on the periphery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it feels like uh, we sort of compartmentalize these, oh, if it's, a kid, if it's a group of kids, then it's a kid's show on a certain network and a certain thing. And it just isn't, uh, that just was never the case and isn't the case even till today. So, and then when you see the real life Hildy and you see how what real impact she can make, when you see Malala and all these different Greta places, Thornburg. Greta, yeah, yeah, all these people around the, the world. Gonzales. It's like, yeah. that. These are the this is the generation that's gonna change everything for us. And so uh, it's time to pay attention. And obviously uh, we're not, we can't keep it all together. So we need them, and we need them, uh, you know, when the, we have a father and daughter story, and I think that's the most powerful. I just had a daughter in the last year, and I've learned that uh, it's the most powerful relationship, and in fact, uh, the things that you try to teach them are almost correcting the things that you got wrong in your childhood, and it's really actually you learn more about yourself. And so we get to do that as a portrait of a family um, through this mystery, uh, this very bingy mystery that you're going to love, um, that we get to paint uh, the, uh, this portrait of a family in a different way. There is a myriad of people out in the world who have done things that, from the outside perspective, have been impressive. Why is Hildy's story so unique that you want to invest into a series? I mean, for us, it was just at a time when people are corrupting the idea that the truth can be knowable. At a time when people are talking about fake news and everyone's saying the truth can't be knowable, it was a little girl saying, if the truth doesn't matter, then nothing ever will. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't giving up and she was standing up on a table saying that. And that felt almost like I couldn't not tell that story. And we both bonded over how important the idea of truth was to us and how there are certain people who they don't want that much truth. You know, they want to kind of go through their lives without that. And Hildy, for her, it's black and white. You know, she's like the Greta Thunberg of journalism. It's like there's truth and then there's lies. It's not that complicated. One of the things I love about a show like this, and I've seen the first couple of episodes, is not necessarily our protagonists, but the suspicion that gets kind of planted on everybody else around them. Talk about as a director, because it's a skill set you have to have to keep the audience engaged and guessing they did something. They're, yeah. they're suspicious. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because, you know, when you're doing a series, you have other directors who are going to come in and take over some of those stories. So I had to sort of anticipate and get clues from Dan, like, how important is this person? She's like, you don't need to know that part. Just know this. You know. So it was really fun as a filmmaker to really do it through the perspective of a family, new family coming into town for the first time. So I... Uh, I knew eventually where these characters would go, but some of them uh, I was kept a little bit in the dark of. So it was fun to I actually like that uh, to be able to to do that. And uh, and you know when we cast actors, they bring so much too, and they uh, bring in a presence. And but 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 I think Hildy's point of view is really fun because she has a she's such a pure point of view of, 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 of who these characters are going to be and how they play into it. Obviously you had some success with this little film a couple of years ago mm -hmm. called Crazy Rich Asians. Yes, and we've just talked about you have another film upcoming this summer uh, yes. in the Heights. Mm -hmm. 
What is it about TV, though? Because I'm fascinated with all of these incredible creative souls who've done and kind of immersed their feet in film. Yeah. TV seems like such fertile ground right now. Mm -hmm. I Well, when I was approached by Dana and Joy and, and, and with this story, uh, you know, when you do a movie, it's a four-year commitment. You're like, in, I've got to decide. Am I going to move my family? All this stuff. When this, it's like, hey, do you want to come play in a world that... Um, that you wouldn't necessarily do in, in, in your in your movies, um, and I think it was this time in my life about uh, looking for truth and being able to not just do it in a two-hour movie, which is actually really fast. And I'm obsessed with watching all these shows now, but to develop it over time and to really peel back, like this, this could not be a movie. This would be a different very different movie but this could peel back layer by layer and get to the truth and 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 complicated and and find where this family is and who they want to be and how they get there and face all this stuff uh through hours and hours of understanding who they are and i thought that was like such a great thing as a storyteller not just a movie maker but as a storyteller what a great forum and working with people who understood that and was weren't, weren't undercutting those ideas like we get to r room to make a 10 hour epic story of this of this family. And just really quick to clarify, each season will be a different mystery? Yeah, so it's interesting. I, I kind of always knew where I wanted it to end and uh, I don't want to spoil it. Obviously, I don't want to give mm -hmm. anything away, but there is a mystery in the first season that will come to a very satisfying conclusion. You will find out very satisfying things about that mystery, but what you will realize is that it's not the end. It's actually the beginning of like a bigger mystery. So it will it will do both of the things that you're looking for it to do because as a viewer I'm somebody who I've loved these shows and you know then you get to the end of the first season and they're like we solved it we're moving on to the next thing we're just starting over and I'm like but I loved the other one I missed the other one so I really wanted to make sure that it could feel fresh and like a new case comes in in the second season but that you're still actually working on in a way figuring out some deeper stuff about the first season that you no, didn't realize. Hand, realize. Hand for the next, next five or six years. <laughs> yes, my hope. Tom, Dana, congratulations. <laughs> hey, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank Looking you so much. That was awesome. I hope you like it. Till next time. Love it.